Ever since the last year's leak of GTA 6 development videos, fans have been analyzing them, noting the coordinates, and drawing the more and more accurate concepts of how the final GTA 6 map could look like. Today, we're going to dive deep into the leaked maps of the upcoming game and explore the most detailed and accurate representation based on leaks, real-life building locations, coordinates, roads, and landmarks. So let's get started. One of the most intriguing rumors surrounding GTA 6 is that the map might be even twice the size of its predecessor, GTA 5. That's right, a massive increase in scale. Even though I think 50% increase is more realistic scenario, there are some concerns about the potential drawbacks of a larger game world. Some some people worry that a bigger map may result in emptier spaces. They point out that even in GTA 5, the northern countryside lacked activities compared to the bustling urban areas. The Venom Snake posted a tweet showing GTA 5 with all the useless space missing. Yes, I know there are some side missions in the areas missing, but still, also agree. Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 have some of the most alive feeling maps. GTA 4 is pretty good too. But my god, GTA 5's map is terrible. Just gotta hope they utilize the space in GTA 6. What do you think? Do you agree with them? I gotta admit that after playing GTA 5 for almost 10 years, I can say that the countryside part of the map should be filled with more variety of foliage, random events and stuff. But, when GTA 5 was initially released back in 2013, it was designed for the previous generation of gaming consoles. The hardware limitations at that time affected the game's overall world design, including the countryside. The developers had to make compromises to ensure the game ran smoothly on those consoles. In 2015, GTA 5 received a next generation update, bringing enhanced visuals and improvements to the game. This update showcased the potential for a more detailed and immersive experience. However, despite the visual improvements, some players, including me, still felt that the countryside lacked the desired density and variety they were hoping for. Same situation happened with GTA 5 Enhanced and Expanded, which was first announced to be released in November. November 2021. Then they delayed it and changed the release date to the 15th of March 2022. I really hoped that this version would bring significant improvements and enhancements to the game, including adding more life and density to the map. However, the reality was really disappointing for me. Rockstar's trailer about the game and its name expanded and enhanced made me really believe that something big is coming. Upon release, it became apparent that the changes and updates in GTA 5, enhanced and expanded, were not as extensive as I thought. The game did not undergo a complete refresh or receive substantial updates to the map or overall gameplay experience. But let's get back to the GTA 6 map concepts. The newest and probably most accurate concept looks like this. Too bad it's not colored just as the maps I've shown you before. The GTA 6 map is shaped like Florida and its surrounding areas, providing a massive and diverse world to explore. Let's take a closer look at some of the key locations on this detailed map. We have Red Hill Forest, Ambrosia Tarmac, Ambrosia Farmlands, Copperhead, and even a parody of Disney World called Fairyland. Sundown beaches and airport are also included, offering a beautiful coastal setting. We've got really many interesting places to explore here, including Sugarloaf Mountain and Port Gellhorn, which have its unique racetrack. There's also LO which has its racetrack too, and additional a prison. Maybe that's there the game may start, as there are rumors that the game intro will be a prison break type story, where Jason will be potentially helping Lucia to get out of there. Apart from the vibrant locations I've just listed, the leaked map also features some interesting geographical elements. Let's explore them further. While the mountains in GTA 6 don't have specific names yet, Rockstar could create faux mountains or hillsides similar to landfills found in Florida. I noticed that some people have been questioning the inclusion of mountains in a map based on Florida, as the state itself does not have prominent mountain ranges. However, it's worth noting that neighboring states like Georgia do have mountains. This could be a plausible explanation for their presence in the GTA 6 map, allowing for diverse and visually stunning landscapes. Also, I'm thrilled thrilled to see that there are six airports included in the map. As someone who loves using planes as a primary mode of transport in GTA games, this is truly exciting. To put it into perspective, GTA 5 had four airports if we count the one in Sandy Shores. The addition of more airports opens up new possibilities for aerial exploration and adds another layer of immersion to the gameplay. Going further, the presence of Fairyland, a parody of Disneyland, is simply hilarious. Rockstar Games has always had a knack for injecting humor and satire into their game worlds, and this concept doesn't disappoint. I can only imagine the outrageous and amusing using activities that will be available in this whimsical theme park. 
Looking at the map as a whole, I appreciate the mix of cities and countryside it offers. It seems to strike a nice balance, encouraging players to explore both urban and rural areas. The inclusion of water bodies also suggests that boats may play a significant role in transportation and activities. This is a refreshing change from the relatively smaller GTA 5 map, where the presence of mountains limited the available space for exploration. And speaking of lakes, there's Lake Leonida, a massive body of water located in the middle of the map, which could hold hidden secrets and Easter eggs. Now let's talk about Vice City, because as you can see in GTA 6, Vice City makes a comeback, and it's packed with nostalgic locations like Ocean Beach, Vice Beach Plaza, and a bustling shopping district. This leaked map, based on Florida, with landmarks such as Starfish Island and Miami Airport, gives us a glimpse of what to expect from GTA 6 in terms of setting and locations. It's been over 20 years since GTA Vice City, so Rockstar has plenty of room to introduce new areas and ideas while still keeping that familiar vibe. While both GTA Vice City and GTA 6 may share the iconic setting of Vice City, it's important to remember that the time periods in which these games take place will greatly influence the overall experience. GTA Vice City was set in the 1980s, capturing the vibrant atmosphere of that era with its neon lights, retro fashion, and iconic music. On the other hand, GTA 6 will be set in modern times, allowing Rockstar games to explore and depict contemporary themes, technologies, and cultural references. With the shift to a modern setting, we can expect numerous differences and updates in the gameplay, narrative, and overall atmosphere. While Vice City itself may be familiar to fans of the original game, the surrounding world, characters, missions, and activities will undoubtedly reflect the advancements and changes that have occurred since the 1980s. It's exciting to think about how Rockstar Games will reimagine Vice City in the context of the present day. The combination of a familiar location and a fresh time period opens up countless possibilities. I can't wait to see how they incorporate modern technologies, cultural references, and the ever-evolving landscape of the real-life Miami area into the game. It's intriguing that the author of this concept map focused solely on Vice City without including any additional cities in the surrounding areas. There have been rumors circulating about Rockstar Games potentially adding more cities to GTA 6, either as DLCs for the single-player mode, the online mode, or possibly both. The idea of expanding the game world with additional cities opens up a world of possibilities for players to explore and engage with different environments and cultures within the GTA 6 universe. It raises questions about how Rockstar Games would connect these cities and create a cohesive experience for players. One possibility could be connecting the cities through bridges, allowing players to traverse the waterways and experience seamless transitions between locations. Something similar to GTA San Andreas' connection between Los Santos, San Fierro, and Las Venturas. This approach would maintain the immersive nature of the game world while providing convenient access to different areas. Another option could involve separating the cities by natural barriers such as mountains, creating distinct regions that players can venture into. If the rumor about Rockstar Games adding new cities to GTA 6 as post-release DLCs turns out to be true, it opens up a world of possibilities for fans. One city that comes to mind is Liberty City. As a staple of the Grand Theft Auto series, Liberty City has been featured in several games, including GTA 3 and GTA 4. It's a bustling metropolis with its own distinct atmosphere, iconic landmarks, and a rich criminal underworld. Bringing Liberty City into GTA 6 would be a nostalgic and highly anticipated addition for many players. Another city that could make a fascinating addition is Las Venturas. Known as the casino capital of the GTA universe, Las Venturas was featured in GTA San Andreas. It would offer a unique contrast to Vice City and provide players with a vibrant and glitzy urban environment filled with high-stakes gambling, entertainment venues, and opportunities for both legal and illegal activities. Keep in mind that changes might occur before the final release, but this leaked map provides significant insight into the game's world and the incredible possibilities it holds. The GTA community has done an impressive job piecing together information based on the leaked development footage. While we eagerly await the official release of GTA 6, this map gives us a good idea of the game's potential, setting our expectations high for an unforgettable experience. What would you change in this map? Maybe Rockstar is watching these videos now and will take notes, who knows? As always, huge thanks to my patrons for supporting my work and contributing to the progress of my channel. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. Have a great day everyone and see you in the next one.